Now this is a 27 years old male um, wherein he was seeing the transfer section of the urinary bladder in a magnified view. This is the urinary bladder in a magnified view. And for, for the time being, let's forget about this, but this is the uh, urinary bladder in uh, transfer section. The issue is why he came from for ultrasound is that uh, he did not have testes when he was born. Now he is 27 years of age and uh, the kiddie, he did not pers uh, pursue because of the socioeconomic reasons or whatever to any uh, consulted any uh, doctor and uh, that <coughs> the testes are missing from the sacrotum and that has led to unfortunately the formation of a solid epigenic mass that you are seeing in the box, in the region of the box, super, uh, super anterior to the uh, urinary bladder with uh, no vascularity in this. There is some mild vascularity but no significant vascularity is seen in this mass. Now there are, uh, this is a heterogeneous mass and uh, you can see few cystic areas within and there are calcifications as well within this uh, part of the mass that I am showing you. Uh, now at the age of 27, having come to know that he, uh, I mean, I have to report it as uh, he, now this is the complete uh, dimension that of the uh, mass. These are the iliac vessels, right iliac vessels. And uh, here comes the mass. And this is its total dimension. It measures approximately 9.2 centimeter by 6.3 centimeter and you can see the heterogen, heterogeneous appearance irregular outer surface and uh, with, uh, with internal tiny cystic areas as well as calcifications within it no vascularity of uh, significance is seen within it so on the left side you will see a structure this one these are the left iliac vessels and this is a lymph node in this location. Now here I am showing you the uh, iliac vessels along with the lymph node. This is a lymph node, this one. Solitary lymph node is seen at present and uh, when <coughs> One knows that if this is a lymph node. This is a lymph node. Now I'm going to give a sweep to the probe of about 90 degrees and more. And it, you see, it does not change its shape. It retains its shape as well as uh, its uh, parent. So this is a lymph node in this location. So the rest of the ultrasound is uh, unremarkable. Kidneys are normal. Uh, there is no focalian seen in the liver and uh, there is uh, uh, no uh, prostate. This is the prostate, it is normal. post and elgial volume is normal. And uh, this is a solid heterogeneous mass. I'm sorry. Solid echogenic mass with internal calcifications. Here you can see over here, larger one. And uh, he will have to go through aggressive therapy indeed. Marginal calcifications, uh, blood vessels are seen with few internal calcifications. So, this is what blood has for him. There is small amount of fluid seen in the dependent region, peritoneal cavity adjacent to the uh, mass. This, this is the edge of the mass, and this triangular area is suggestive of fluid. 
Now this is fuel in this uh, location, so small amount of fuel is also seen in the dependent region peritoneal cavity at the left medial margin of the mass, and this is another case of the angular region. 